And what's up guys, Heretic of you here back with another Relic Knights battle report. Um, that's right, I'm playing the crap out of this game. Actually, just uh, want to get in a ton of games. Uh, really enjoying that. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to take this time to do my official announcement of the live play of Super Dungeon Explorer that will be done on this channel. So, um, the way it's going to work is you guys are going to control one of the heroes. I'm um, going to play with some, uh, uh, I don't know, probably my nephew, maybe a friend or whatever. And uh, we are going to play um, Vondrak Manor. And you'll be able to, uh, just by posting comments, um, control the character. So it should be a lot of fun. And, you know, you guys can um, now make fun of me live or correct error <laughs> rules. Um, error in rules. I can't even talk tonight. Um, you can do that all live with us. So uh, hopefully you will um, join us. You know, you can jump in for, you know, a couple minutes and just give a few commands or whatever. Or you can stay the entire time. You know, do whatever. Um also be doing uh, I'll do a special uh, live raffle for those of you that are donating to my um, sponsoring me for extra life so um, there's your your full-on announcement it's gonna be the first week of October because uh, I got a lot of stuff going on um, it's my wedding anniversary it's my wife's birthday it's my, my parents are renewing their vows so like every weekend is booked all in October. So we're gonna do as much gaming on um, on that Saturday on October 4th. So come join us. Uh, Super Dungeon Explorer will be the main thing we do, but we could do some other things. Uh, we're just gonna see. We just we'll shoot we'll shoot off the cuff or off the hip cuff or hip. I'm, I'm not sure. I shouldn't really record these things. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the battle report. So let's go get into it. Um, starting with Shattered Sword. Um, that's right. They wanted revenge from last week's bat rep. So Shattered Sword, 50 points. Scenarios are going to be Tear It Down and Assassination. So um, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, I think... Shatter Sword, uh, actually they're going with a pretty interesting list. They're trying out um, Dark Space uh, via meta. So uh, she necessarily, she doesn't need line of sight. And she does a ton of damage. So she can hit the objective markers from a nice uh, hidden spot. So that's going to be uh, a very optimal choice for them. And also helps with the assassination as well. So she is going to be uh, uh, very useful. Uh, we'll talk about the rest of the list as he deploys, but um, I just wanted to mention that because during the battle report you're going to see uh, Dark Space Fiametta, and he's using Dark Space Isabeau. But uh, Dark Space Isabeau is uh, proxy proxying uh, regular Isabeau. So uh, just trying to avoid confusion. If that wasn't confusing enough. <laughs> okay, so scenarios for Black Diamond. Uh, my primary scenario is going to be Heist. Um, <clears throat> that's the first time I, I've done a uh, Heist scenario, actually. It's the first time I do that. So that'll be interesting. Um, not a lot of movement on my team, but I do have Suspect 7, so that's going to help with Heist. And hopefully my faction scenario, which is transport. Uh, and as you can see, uh, my secondary scenario is realign, and that that one uh, pretty much I'm going to depend um, on suspect seven. So I'm going to keep suspect seven alive in this battle. It's very important. I do have um, some other units like the black dragons are a little bit fast, but um, you know. Nothing gets the job done as far as objective-wise for the Black Diamond like uh, Suspect 7. They are just too good at doing that. And, um, yeah, they're kind of... Um, if you get your hands on them, 
uh, I would highly recommend uh, using Suspect 7. I'm going to try a couple battles without them though, just to see uh, what other options we, uh, the Black Diamond, have for objective grabbers. Okay, so here we are uh, taking a look at our objectives. Uh, so that's my primary objective, kind of placed in the corner, uh, sandwiched in between two runes. Uh, there's a lot of walls on this table, so uh, I figured it's going to be a good spot uh, for that. That um, boost marker there is an Esper Condenser, uh, so trying that one out. You can see it's a very interesting table. This is the uh, front line. We're playing on the front line gaming map as we look at Mark's primary objective. Pretty much on the exact opposite uh, side of mine. Uh, and then we're hiding objective markers in the tower. So lots of walls lining these streets. And so it creates kind of a maze to get through. So it's going to be very interesting for me um, and Mark to try to navigate uh, through these little... Uh, street corners as you look at the rest of the objective markers there um, but again not a big issue for Mark since he is playing um, via meta and she has a, a spell ability that does not require line of sight and you know in this range uh, in, in Relic Knight's uh, range is unlimited so uh, as long as he can get uh, the right cards or, or store up Esper uh, to her this is going to be a very tough challenge for me. Okay, so moving on to deployment. I have a unit of uh, Diamond Core right next to uh, one of Mark's secondary objectives. Um, basically, I just uh, probably going to throw Esper on them and um, get them to put an infused token on that objective marker. That was the thinking, uh, but you, you never know what happens during the battle. Um, got one shot and suspect seven guarding my primary objective though uh, Fiametto doesn't need to go anywhere near them uh, just checking to see if they're within uh, three of each other uh, basically I'm gonna hold one girl back and she's going to be um, depositing the heist tokens and I have to get suspect uh, the other two girls all the way across the table there um, there is Sebastian and there's a unit of black dragons holding down the the back of the table ready to ambush uh, Marks. He's got two purifiers. There's Dark Space Fiametta and um, what are those guys called? A, a Paragon? Paragon? Uh, right there. And uh, I think you missed uh, uh, Isabeau. Isabeau is next to uh, Sebastian Cross right there. So uh, that is deployment. And so Let's move on to the battle. All right, kids, on to the super fast, fast forwarded uh, action there. Uh, first activation went to Shatter Sword. They did a refocus action with Rook. And there is Suspect 7 um, grabbing a cargo token for my primary objective. Um, you got uh, Fia Meta who's going to set up camp safely behind those walls um, I believe yep um, she is targeting one of my secondary objectives uh, with her spell and she pumps it up she does like eight points of damage and that's an insane amount of damage um, for that so like that that objective counter is like halfway down there is Fritz who activates and transfers uh, Esper to um, one shot and the Paragon jumps all the way up in the tower and then I activate one shot one shot's gonna use that uh, Esper and he's gonna gain uh, she's gonna gain another point of Esper uh, just for being in line of sight of um, Fritz and then she's gonna do a focus shot on the Paragon and she's going to bump up damage and that is going to take him out so um, Black Diamond wasting no time um, scoring for destruction so that's uh, it's a pretty big deal for the Black Diamond 
Um, there's Fritz. Again, activating, transferring uh, Esper to... Um, I believe now he's t transferring it to Sebastian Cross. Um, I activate the, um, the Black Dragons, who are going to be hunting down Fiametta. She's like target number one, so I'm glad on their positioning. But I should mention that the Black, Do uh, the Black Dragons are the Assassinate um, for the Shatter Sword. So this is kind of a dangerous ploy to expose them out uh, that way. And then Sebastian Cross is going to activate, use a psychic attack, and uh, pull the Black Dragons um, really close to him. So kind of just maneuvering them out of position. I thought there was going to be a hit after that. Um, he didn't even push it for damage. He just wanted them out of position at that point. Then we go with Suspect 7. They're just going to do an initial move and a uh, secondary move. Basically just trying to get them uh, across the board because they are carrying a uh, cargo token at this point. Um, now we're looking at uh, my diamond core, but I've not activated yet. Um, actually, you, you, you spoiler alert, you're, you're not going to see them activate until near the very end of this battle. I don't know why, I just, um, what was happening, I just didn't, they were kind of placed out of position, so, uh, that was just bad news. Um, then I activate Fritz, who does, uh, now, uh, activates and transfers Esper to, um, to, uh, the Black Dragons. And then, Isabeau comes out of nowhere, and she is going to strike, uh, one of the Black Dragons, which is bad news, because, um, she hits hard. Okay, like I said at the beginning of this battle report, um, that is Dark Space Isabeau, which is cool because she's dressed up as Faye Valentine from Cowboy Bebop. But uh, such a cool model that um, the Shadow Sword guy was like, "I'm just going to use her as regular Isabeau," and I was like, "I'm totally cool with that." Uh, anyways, Black Dragons are now activating, and they are taking a shot at Fia Meta. Um, However, Fia Meta, uh, at least Dark Space Fia Meta, has a really good guard. And so she is going to avoid uh, this attack from them. And uh, she's going to poop out a, an AoE, a little debuff, that um, prevents me from making an initial move. There's my follow up move, as I'm, I'm just basically trying to surround her. Because, I mean, she could. Um, win this game all on her own if you know I don't go after her anyway Seb Sebastian Cross is activating and I think he was just out of reach of um, one shot at this point so uh, I think what he's um, I think what he's gonna do is pull her I think so again guys this is like first time I'm watching this footage so um, this battle actually happened a couple days ago. Just trying to remember everything uh, that happened. It's kind of nice to just um, watch over this. And if you can't tell, I am totally buying time as this footage is. It just seems like we're either we're <laughs> looking up a rule or um, or what. I'm not sure. There's, there's a lot of just the camera stuck in this position. But, um, oh, here we go. Now we're moving on. Uh, so, um, Fia Meta is going to activate. And I believe she is uh, refocusing at this point. And so, uh, I move in uh, Suspect 7. Who basically, I want one of the girls to punch Fia Meta in the face. But as you can see, I was a couple inches short there. So that's not going to happen. Um, she hasn't taken any damage, by the way, which is scary. And um, like I said, she is about done with taking out one of my secondary objectives. So um, 
that's pretty scary but she she's posted up in a, a pretty nice spot you can see there's hardly any access to get to her I decide well I'm not gonna punch her I'm gonna go ahead and try and score my objective and there's um, there's Rook activating transferring so no he's actually uh, yeah he's transferring Esper around okay so moving on uh, we got uh, Isabeau moving in um, she's gonna throw an AOE template um, down to help uh, Fiametta out so we've got a couple of AOEs there um, to sort of combat my my black dragons so black dragons say they're gonna back up and instead somehow missed it but they killed the paragons um, they was one of the activations they shot it in super fast sped up footage but uh, uh, with the paragons gone they decide to pick up um, a heist token and decide to uh, book it and instead try and get um, our primary objective done and then we have um, suspect seven they're going to activate and oh, I'm sorry we miss Fiametta she took out a um, one of the secondary uh, objectives and then suspect seven um, reached the uh, board edge and deposited the first of the cargo tokens so uh, halfway uh, black diamonds halfway done with their faction objective as you can see it's the number three there um, and uh, Shattered Sword is halfway done with their primary objective. So, um, so battles picking up pace here. Here we go with uh, Sebastian. Sebastian is going to tear a huge chunk out of um, one shot. Um, for some reason, at this point, I just had really shitty cards. I wasn't holding on to much Esper because I was just more interested in. Um, my support model so I was passing Esper around to like the black dragons and stuff so she can block this and this was like uh, Sebastian did some some major damage there I mean uh, that that was just that was just dangerous so I activate uh, Fritz who finally transfers Esper to um, to her so that she can help her out in that little situation and then we have um, Isabeau activated, and now she's going after the uh, the black dragons there. So I'm going to activate one shot, and I'm going to get uh, Held Esper for looking at Fritz and my other Held Esper. So I'm going to back up and start um, dealing with Sebastian Cross. So we're going to have a little uh, Relic Knight, Relic Knight battle here. So I take a shot at him. But what I didn't realize was that uh, Sebastian, he he gets uh, armor buffs for his held Esper, and um, I'm spending my Esper shooting at him, so that's not that's not helping my um, in, inherent uh, Esper ability. Where if I'm holding on to Esper, she does more um, she does more damage. But whatever with that, I, I I took a shot at him, and uh, yeah. So there we have Fritz. He's now stealing Esper from Sebastian, and then Suspect Seven uh, picks up another cargo token. So I'm doing the Suspect uh, Seven token shifting shenanigans. Um, so basically, because the unit is considered carrying the token not the individual model and suspect seven can break up like that that means I can um, pick up a cargo token on one side of the board and if I have a model on the other side of the board they can deposit it there um, uh, it takes a bit of setting up to do though a lot of people uh, online have said you know that's that's some pretty broken stuff but you do have to put in a 50 point game the queue is longer you get an extra queue slot so uh, shifting tokens um, 
is don't get me wrong it's pretty awesome but um, yeah uh, you do have to set it up anyways black dragons go uh, they're trying to gun down Fiametta and of course she um, is going to block again so uh, this is bad news we're just trying to we're just trying to shoot her and we're gonna run back um, with the heist token but uh, again she blocks throws down the AoE which that AoE prevents me from from taking an initial move as you see suspect 7 there really quickly scoring uh, faction objective for me depositing the second of the um, uh, the second of the um, cargo tokens and then Sebastian Cross pushes one shot into the side of the building and she takes some damage um, there's the there's the deposit there and then um, follow up move next to the uh, next to uh, Shadow Storage primary objective and then you got Rook here who is um, transferring Esper to um, Sebastian Cross because now they're going after their faction uh, objective which is called Justice and since one shot was the um, the model that killed the um, the Paragon uh, killing her will actually score five I did not know this crap when I was playing um, what I'm trying to do with one shot is take you know, I'm backing up I'm shooting Sebastian backing up shooting Sebastian I'm gonna bust out the uh, diamond core out of that little corner there and they're just gonna surround him and gun him down but he man he's a tank and uh, like quite literally really hard to take down that model I mean I'm taking shots at him and I'm trying to run back and do my objective um, but Fiametta just like douses one of my um, black dragons right there and so now I'm, I'm running scared I, uh, I think at this point do I shoot her? I think I do I, I take a shot at um, I think this time I, I actually hit her I actually do um, some points of damage um, and then move on so here we go with Sebastian Cross he is smelling blood really wants uh, he really wants justice justice to be served uh, so he's going after uh, one shot there uh, as we get a better angle actually no wait a second he is uh, going after the, um, the assassination so he pushes the uh, remaining black dragon into that barricade it does some a uh, couple points of damage and then we have suspect seven um, they pick up a, uh, a heist token so now I'm working on my primary objective now I want two girls there but then here comes Isabeau for the block she is going to step up and punch one of the girls in the face and that's bad news to me because I have no support for suspect 7 anymore and so we have Isabeau running around just being a badass as we look at the diamond core we are finally going to get into the game uh, they were supposed to drop off an infused token but um, shit happens man we we had to move out and take shots at Sebastian Cross which uh, we, we do a couple points of damage to him uh, then I activate the the uh, I think well, we missed one of Mark's activation I think it was Rook transferring Esper and then uh, the Black Dragon activates and takes a shot at Sebastian and jumps over the barricade and tries to get back to the primary objective uh, but then Sebastian says hello what's up and is going to stab that black dragon in the face and uh, score his assassination you see the heist token being dropped uh, right there and then Sebastian is going to use his follow-up move to engage a one shot so this is a huge point swing that just happened there with that assassination that gave him 
uh, basically four points. Isabeau takes another shot at suspect seven, who this time I have the uh, ability to guard. So I guard that attack because I desperately need um, the primary objective to go off. One shot is hurting and uh, so I line up the firing squad and we're going to blast Sebastian Cross in the face. Um, but I, I believe he, uh, I don't know, he, he either, it was insignificant the amount of damage he took because of his armor. Um, so he's doing fine, but um, but one shot's on her last leg there. And then you got Fiametta. Fiametta's gonna go. Um, at this point, I think she is going after, uh, I believe she's going after one shot. Now he's like abandoning his, um, his primary objective. He's gonna try and win this by getting his uh, faction scenario done and his secondary scenario done. So there's the uh, heist token being uh, deposited. Actually, yeah, so we've got one heist token deposited on my primary objective and she picked up the second. So can we do this before um, one shot dies? Because if one shot dies, that, uh, that is five points plus four points so we'll put her at uh, nine points which uh, we, we decided was, we were only gonna play to eight and that is it one one shot is off the table and the shatter sword win it um, with a surprising I didn't you know I, I, I haven't played in, against them enough to know that they're um, that their faction objective was justice and then that uh, that just shifted getting that assassination off and justice and killing my relic knight was was pretty impressive by the uh, shattered sword so there's your battle report for the week um yeah shattered sword take it man they take it to they totally redeemed themselves from last week and um they did it by focusing, actually not even really focusing on their primary objective, which they were kitted out to do, which is surprising. So they do it with good old, uh, good old violence, killing their assassination target and getting justice and killing my relic knight. So uh, that'll do it for this week. Just one more thing to go over as we continue our game of name that anime theme so this week shout out goes to runescape ninja 30 who got last week's um uh, full metal alchemist brotherhood was the correct answer so you have scored yourself a bonus point so congratulations and let's see if you guys can get this one this is a little bit harder a little bit older so if you know this one you really know your anime All right, so that's your anime theme for this video. First one to put it in the comments will get a bonus point, and I will see you guys next week for the live Super Dungeon Explorer. Um, and yeah, we're going to even put this on the, the live feed. So we'll play Name That Anime Theme live. Uh, so hopefully you guys can join me. And sorry about for the lengthy battle report. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next week.